to a, another vlog. This vlog is going to be a weekend vlog, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I have just gotten off work. I'm on my way to a dentist appointment. As you can see, no Invisalign here. I just took my retainer off um, to head over to the dentist office. I'm gonna get a cleaning, x-rays, all that good stuff. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing pink, today is the day that the Barbie movie comes out. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be dressing in pink today, but we had a thing at my job where everyone was to wear pink to work. Um, we got some free tickets for the movie. I can't really say why, but we got some free tickets for the movie, so I'm gonna be taking my daughters tonight to the movie in Century City where they have the costumes, where we went to see The Little Mermaid. They're gonna have the costumes for the movie. Um, there's something called Cafe Land Landwar or something like that that everyone's going to where you can get all this pink food. Whether or not we're gonna get to do that, I don't know because I hear that there's like long lines for that, but we're gonna see. Who knew that I had this much pink in my closet? As an actor, I guess, you know, you kind of collect clothing for um, auditions. And so when I was looking for something pink to wear, I had this. So this is this dress and this jacket don't, they're not part of the same outfit. The dress is actually standalone and then this jacket has a skirt that goes with it, but they were the exact same like bubble gum pink. So I just threw them together, put on my Jordans um, and that's what I wore to work today. So everyone was like, oh my God, you look so cute. And I'm like, thank you. This lady's like staring me down. Lady, you got your dog in your lap. You can't talk. So before I went to work this morning, I had to go pick up my car. My car was getting repaired because two days in a row, last week I had some stuff happen. The first day, minding my business, I got rear-ended by this young driver who admitted that he was on his phone. He messed my whole bumper up. And then the very next day, I'm on my way home, almost at home, and this homeless person, okay, look, this is the thing about me. You might have noticed from some of my previous videos. I don't stop for people who jaywalk. It really irritates me, and I'm not about to slam on my brakes for someone who's jaywalking and get rear-ended. So I'm on my way home, almost home, and this person is jaywalking across the street. And I'm thinking he had just gotten off the bus, but turns out he was just, you know, going back and forth across the street causing problems. So he's jaywalking and I actually stopped to let him go. And he goes, no, no, you go. You know, gestures to me to go. And so I'm like, okay. So as I'm driving past this guy, he takes his fist and slams it against my side mirror and busts my whole side mirror glass out. So here I am having to call my insurance company two days in a row and they're like, what the heck's going on with you? Do you not know how to get around? <laughs> Do you not know how to get around your town safely? But um, anyways, so I got all that stuff fixed, picked my car up this morning, took my rental car back. Oh, that's another thing I was gonna say about the movie. There's actually some scenes in the movie which is really, really cool. Um, and I just know this from the trailer, not because I've seen it yet. There's some scenes in the movie that were shot in my neighborhood. And I remember when they were filming it because, you know, we kind of walk the dogs and stuff in that area a lot. So I know exactly where they were filming it and we saw them filming it. If I could have, I would have gotten like some pictures and footage and stuff like that for you guys when they were shooting it. But the security was so, so tight for this movie. They really, I don't think they really wanted anything to leak out. So I wasn't able to get that. So there's some, there's some shots in there. So I'm looking forward to see um, what is kept in the movie from the areas that they shot in my neighborhood. What else has been going on with your girl? Uh, my mom was here last weekend, brought her in for her birthday, and I made a little short. If you haven't seen it, I'll stick it here. I'm gonna 
these days. We don't look it up, probably talk on the phone. But see, I don't know if that's good. Stuff this summer so far we are now getting ready for our uh, vacation that we have coming up in a couple of weeks so of course I'm gonna be vlogging that for you guys and I'm super excited um, it is a cruise and it's an area we have not cruised out of before and really hope that we have a lot of fun of course there's no parking over here there's never oh wait, 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 wait. I spoke too soon I spoke too soon um, but let me go in here and get my appointment done and then when I come out I will finish with this opening getting you guys caught up on where I am and we will go and check this movie out see what's going on in Century City all right so I am thoroughly confused as to why it always takes at least two hours when I go to my dentist's office. I literally just finished. It's six o'clock. The movie starts at 6.30. I have to get home and pick up the girls so we can get to the movie theater in Century City. And you guys know how the traffic is here. So fingers crossed that we get there on time. When I checked earlier, it was saying that traffic was about a half an hour. So hopefully we'll get there um, right on time, get settled into our seats before the movie starts. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of rushing. But anyways, my teeth came out really good. They got a lot of the stains and stuff off. I do have some cavities that I need to have taken care of, which I knew about. We were just trying to wait until my Invisalign was done. So now that that's done, I'm gonna start scheduling my appointments for my cavities to be taken care of. And it's, it is cavities, plural. So he was kind of telling me that genetically, I'm just prone to develop cavities. So it's not anything that I'm necessarily doing wrong. So that's a good thing. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I'm actually wearing my old glasses. My glasses that I literally just got from Warby Parker. I had to box them up and ship them out today because my lenses have just gotten so scratched and smudged and I can barely see through them. And it was causing like me to get like headaches and stuff like that so I really needed to get those replaced I'm actually going through a company called lens direct because Warby Parker when I originally called them about this issue they were like oh you know we only have warranties on our glasses for like six months I think they said and um, it was just past the six month mark when I called them originally so I was like well I'll just hang on to them and see how I can you know manage and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse so I found this company online because I didn't want to go the route of Warby Parker because they were going to make me get all new frames and all new lenses all over again. They were going to give me a couple dollars off, but um, I, I didn't want to pay all that money all over again. I'm like pissed that I can never find like a company that I'm happy with when it comes to my glasses. But anyways, I'm trying this new thing with Lens Direct. Like I said, I ship my glasses out today and literally what they do is you get a package, buy a package through them and send them your prescription and they will change out your lenses in your frame. So you're only paying for the lenses, you're keeping your frames and it's all done through the mail. So I sent that out to them today and supposedly it's supposed to take like two weeks. So I'm hoping that I will get them back before I leave to go on vacation. If not, then I'll just take these.
Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning. It's just after 11 o'clock. As you can see, we're at the space today. We have a couple of appointments. We have a donation drop-off today. We have a donation pickup today. I'm actually donating some school supplies to an organization in Compton that's having um, like a backpack event. We're not gonna do one this year. So when we don't have events, we like to support other organizations that are having events um, if we can. So that's what we're working on today. After this, we're probably gonna make a target run. And then later, I might meet up with a family that is interested in dog sitting for us, for our puppy, Lincoln. Um, Pico's taken care of. He's gonna go with this couple that watches him um, often when we go out of town but we need to find someone for Lincoln. So we're gonna go meet up with them, meet their dogs and kind of see how, you know, Lincoln meshes with them, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. And then I think the rest of the night is just gonna be, I just have a lot of uh, paperwork to do for the giveaway, emails, spreadsheets, stuff like that. But let me tell you guys about the movie last night. We really, really enjoyed it. It was definitely different than what we were expecting, but it was a really, really good movie. If you've seen the movie, you know that they mention a specific area of Los Angeles. And it's really cool because that's actually where we went to see the movie. So it kind of tied in and the audience was like, you know, thought it was really cool. Also, what was funny is I think that I had mentioned that um, they had shot some of the scenes in my uh, neighborhood where I live. Well, I also discovered that they shot some other scenes in a building that I used to work in. So I just thought that was so funny how the whole movie kind of tied into um, a lot of places that I'm familiar with in LA. But we loved it. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely go see it. And then I think that's it. So I'm gonna get back to work. I know my daughter is probably like, where's mom? Like, we got all this stuff to do. We have a client in the room right now. So I gotta go tend to her, but I will pick you guys back up when we head to Target. $80, two bags. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to get you guys propped up here. I have you leaning up against my uh, dresser. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm sitting on the floor of my closet that I share with Todd, so it's kind of small. Um, I'm just angling you guys towards my pile of stuff that I've kind of been collecting. And putting to the side, I, th these are things that I'm thinking about taking on my trip. We leave two weeks from today. So for the last month or two, I've just been kind of shoving stuff in this bag that I was interested in taking. This is the bag. You guys would have seen me buy this a couple months ago on another vlog. So that's what we're doing right now. I didn't end up going anywhere else tonight. I was supposed to go meet with the dog sitter. That didn't pan out. So we'll probably go tomorrow or I might even go Monday, we'll see. And then I'm not showing you guys me because I have my bonnet on and everything and you know, so. We're just gonna look through some of the stuff that I'm thinking about taking. A lot of this stuff would really depend on if I have something to go with it. Okay, so this is my new swimsuit that I got from Target a couple of weeks ago when I went to the pool party. So for sure, I know I wanna take that. So I'm just kind of going through some stuff. These are some tops that I picked up and they kind of looked a little tropical to me. So I was like, eh, you know, I might, I might take these with me, but I really, if I don't find something that I want to wear with them, then I might not take them. Here's like another like blue. And these are like crop top type things. I'm definitely taking these. I just got these from Amazon. I saw these in Aaliyah Space's vlog and she suggested them. So I got two of them. Oops. And so basically what they are is you can fill up any like liquids that you want to take and they should be safe and secure while you're traveling. Um, C 
safely in your luggage. So I got, like I said, two of these. So I'm definitely taking these. These jeans that you saw me pick up at Target today, they fit really good. So I'm taking those. They were only $11. For like, if there's like a cool evening where I would need some longer pants, that's what I'm taking those for. I have a couple scarves that I got from, I can't remember if I got these from Shein or what is the other place? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. But anyways, I got these, wrap my hair up. I'm gonna have braids by the time I go on this trip. So something that I can wrap my hair up with if I need. This swimsuit, again, Oh, I really have to look and see where I got a lot of this stuff because I don't remember. I bought this swimsuit. It's like a long sleeve crop type swimsuit. Where are the bottoms for that? And then these are the bottoms. Kind of big. <laughs> but I got this maybe from Shein. I've never worn it. Got this a long time ago. I definitely want to take that. So that's two, two swimsuits. A pair of short overalls that I got from Gap a couple months ago. I've worn these once. I also wore these to the pool party a couple weeks ago. I'm taking those for sure. This is like a cover-up. I don't know if I'm going to take this. I've had this for a long time. We'll see. Another like cropped shirt. Again, I'll have to, if you know, make sure I have some shorts or like a skirt or something to go with that. I got to order some stuff to kind of get my wardrobe together. Some mesh stuff because I'm looking at the temperature there and it's gonna be pretty hot. And this is like a dress, cute little like summer dress, sleeveless. Um, so I'm just showing you guys what I've been kind of collecting so far. I haven't started putting anything together. This is just stuff that I've been putting to the side like in anticipation. And then I have this little like uh, vanilla beach like swim top maybe, like cover up type deal. I have these cute shoes. I could see myself wearing these, size 10, you know. And then one of my daughters got me this for Christmas, this bag. This is a dupe from Amazon. It's really, really cute. I love the color. That's definitely going. And then I got one of the stereotypical, when you're going to a tropical place, you got to take a straw bag purse. So got this too. So that's going. Um, so that's it for what I've set aside so far. This is just stuff that I um, have bought previously with the trip in mind, stuff that I already had, stuff that was given to me. But as far as like, okay, I'm sitting down today and I'm shopping for this trip, I haven't done that yet. So hopefully when I do that, it's going to help me figure out if I want to take these shirts that I was just showing you. And then I'm definitely going to get, I think, at least one more swimsuit. But we're going to get this done. We still got two weeks. I'm very excited. And I think that that was all I wanted to show you guys. I'm thankful I don't have to make dinner tonight. That's one thing, you know what? One thing that makes me happy about having children that are older everybody can take turns cooking dinner in the house and i'm not stuck in the kitchen every night or todd's not stuck in the kitchen every night trying to make dinner so that's good so anyways i just wanted to show you guys what i was up to i think i have what is this on tv jumanji jumanji's playing but some youtubers that i watch have been posting today so i'm probably going to switch it over to youtube watch some youtube wait for kenny to finish making dinner eat my dinner and then um get the work done that i was telling you guys that i had to do earlier today and then i will check in with you guys manana all right see you guys tomorrow
still love the Lord and your mama be a weed. Oh, y'all miss that. You can still serve the Lord and your son spoke with you. I'm sorry, and your son was weed. You can still serve the Lord, amen. church this morning we are going to uh, Grand Central Market we're all going for the first time should be fun I will let you guys see some of the yummy food that I get and if you're in the LA area you might want to stop by I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb girl are you crazy yeah you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Okay, so we have made it back from Grand Central Market. It was a fun time. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> so I've been to this market before. I remembered once we walked in years and years and years ago, sure that a lot of the places that are there now weren't there when I would go back in the day. The place that I got was a Japanese place. I would give them probably a six out of ten i ordered three things i ordered salmon and it was very lackluster um the salmon was kind of, i didn't even videotape this, the salmon because it didn't it didn't look good it was dry the rice was okay the salad was wilted and and old i didn't eat that but i did like the sushi roll that i got um and i also like the tempura that i got so that's why they got the six out of ten and then you guys also saw that I got um, a donut from the Donut Man, the strawberry donut. Now I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna have a piece of that when I get back because I'm headed out again, but I'm gonna have a piece of that when I get back with some coffee. And um, hopefully I'll like it. My daughter said it was good. She had one, so I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'll like it. That's it for Grand Central Market. Would I go back? Yes, the vibes were cool. I'm actually shocked that I was okay with all the people and not wearing a mask and all that stuff. It was outdoors, so that was nice. But um, but yeah, I had a really good time. It's very hot, very humid today in LA. I'm back in the car because I'm headed now. Um, I finally was able to get an appointment or get a, a little meetup time with the dog sitter that we're talking to about Lincoln. So she invited me and Taya to come and bring Lincoln to meet with her and her pets to see if you know they all mesh. So that's what we're getting ready to go do. After we go do this with Lincoln, I'm gonna come home and kind of get ready for the week. And so I wanted to pop on so I could close this vlog out. I wanted to tell you guys quickly last night, I, I think I told you guys I was gonna watch YouTube. I ended up watching Nope by Jordan Peele. I hadn't watched it yet. My daughters have been trying to get me to watch it for the longest. I have the movie. We watched it last night. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. It kind of reminded me of like an M. Night Shyamalan movie, but it was good. I mean, it, it was, it was good. It was a good movie. So I'm glad I watched it. That's what I ended up doing last night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know that I have an audience out there, but a lot of times it's not really obvious because I don't get comments and um, I don't get subscribers on the same rate as I do views. So if you guys could please subscribe, please like, please comment, it would do, well, you guys know what it would do. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.